In this video, we're going to go over how to create key plans on your sheets. So first things first, we're going to do this in the title block family, which means that we need to edit it or open up the title block uh, editor and family editor. So we go to the title block, we click on the title block, hit edit family, and then that'll bring us within the title block family. We'll also need to outline the uh, building, which I have done in a different view, basically just take some detail lines, outline them here, and then you can outline the building. So what I'm going to do is going to copy this from this uh, view, and then outline, just grab all the outline pieces. So let me do this first. So with this, what I am showing is that you can only do uh, detail lines. You can't bring any other elements into the project and you can only copy them from other sheets. So that is great to know. Okay, since we cannot basically bring in anything else to this model. We've got to build everything within the uh, editor or within the title block itself. So we've got to go to create, and then we're going to do, just start drawing some lines. So with that, we can go ahead and draw our lines here, create our building outline. something like this. And if we look here to this key plan that I drew in another view, this will be close to what we have. So with this, we're also going to create another line and put that across here. So move these down a little bit, this down a little bit, because again, we've got to basically freehand this. So here is maybe not to scale, but a rough estimate for something quick. Um, you'll want to probably draw this to scale within uh, your view. And then the next thing that we'll do is going to be, we're gonna basically create a filled region uh, in the project. So again, we're just gonna retrace these. Uh, okay for now again there's one filled region we'll do a another filled region for unit B okay and then the um you know, we've got unit A, unit B, we can put text in here as well. Um, so we can just put text and this will appear kind of at all times. So unit A. Cancel, move this guy up, copy it down. Unit B. And again, you want to draw everything to scale. Um, so you know, B, and we can leave these here. Now, um, for these filled regions that we've created, and again, we can remove basically these outline texts and just leave our filled regions. And we can edit our filled region types, you know, on what we want to put in there, right? It can just be a um, really anything. Um, that we want to put within uh, these. We can create new hatch patterns, right? We can do all that kind of good stuff if we choose to uh, for this. So whether we want to just diagonal up um, as our filled regions, you know, something simple, we can totally do that. Now, the other thing that we need to create in here is going to be parameters uh, for this. So these are going to be instance parameters because in some views we're going to, um, have one and then in some views the other, right? Unit A, unit B. 
So we'll just say unit A, common, um, discipline, and this is going to be just a yes, no checkbox. Um, and we can group this under common. Um, just general or graphics, graphics works. So um, common discipline, yes, no, graphics. Okay. And then we'll basically create another uh, to say another instance property, say unit B, common. Um, yes, no, and then we'll group it under graphics as well. Oops, graphics. So unit A, unit B, and then with that, we'll be able to now apply our visibility. We've got to hit this little uh, box here on the end, we'll say unit A, and then this box will say unit B, right? We'll always see this text to notate whether it's unit A or unit B. So we'll load this in a project and close. I'm gonna save the tunnel block, we'll overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. So you can always have unit A and unit B here. And if you want to, cause this would show up on every single view. So um, like if we click on it, right? Like unit A goes away, unit B goes away. So if we go back, we wanna make sure that um, there's a couple things that we basically leave in the project. So um, because we have this, you know, unit A, unit B demarcation, and we typically want to also have um, the whole building there, we are going to need to create our lines to show effectively the entire building. So we'll create multiple lines here that outline the entire building. And then we'll basically put these under um, a common heading, right? Is to like building outline so that we can hide the entire thing for things like detail sheets and other sheets um, that we're gonna have within our project. So if we highlight everything, right? That's gonna highlight everything with this line. And um, again, we're going to need to make these um, basically another parameter. So we'll go through, create another parameter to say building outline. Again, another yes, no, basically a checkbox under graphics instance. Hit okay. And then, so all, all of these lines now get put under building outline. So we'll put these under building outline. And then this text can be in um, under unit A if we choose. And then this text can be under unit B. So now again, when these um, get loaded into the project, right, overwrite the existing version, our building outline is gonna show back up. It might not have text, right? Uh, for this, because just the building outline is checked. But now if we check unit B, right, we'll be able to show that. If again, we select the piece and we can see that the hatch line is selected. So again, we can go back through edit and then make sure that our hatch, right, our fill region is not under that, but under unit B. And then our single, uh, oops, that's filled region. So what we wanna do is find our line. And we know this line is gonna be our building outline. So there you go. So we can load in the project and close. And now we have this. And then again, we can always come back and put in our text um, into just the building outline. You can, again, create another um, view for these, but we can put you know, text into building outline and have that up here you know, with our building. So unit A, unit B appears. Um, with the building. So that's basically how to create a key plan. What you'll want to do is basically have all your dimensions and all that kind of good stuff and then draw 
this to scale within the title block wherever you want it to appear on your title block sheet. And that is how you ultimately create a key plan in Revit and embed it within a title block.